Hey guys, it's me Miyako and I am back with another video. This video is gonna be kind of something a little different from the random vlogs and makeup tutorials and stuff that I usually post on this channel and I'm gonna do a week's worth of masks which is probably a new series that I'm going to start up on this channel and it is basically I just get seven days worth of masks and I try them on for you guys and tell you guys what I think about them. To start off this video, I went to Don Quixote, which for you guys who don't know, is a kind of buy everything kind of store. It's kind of like Dice Soul, except it has a lot more variety in it, and it's a super popular store here in Japan. So I just went to Don Quixote, and I picked up seven days worth of masks from there, and these are just masks that I thought you guys would be interested in. So I'm going to go ahead and review those, and if you guys like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And let's get on to the video. So just saying ahead of time, I, again, I have a terrible memory, so all these reviews, I wrote them down on my notes application on my phone, so if you guys see me looking down a lot or see me looking at my phone, I can't remember all this, guys, okay? I'm just terrible memory. So the first mask that I'm going to be talking about is this one, and a lot of you guys have probably already seen this one. It is the Geisha Mask in Green Tea by Pure Smile. And this one says it has hyaluronic acid, vitamin E. And I just remember when I put this one on, it had a really, really strange kind of chemically scent to it. But for the novelty of a mask, it is really nice. Like, if you guys want to buy this for your friends, I do recommend this just because the novelty of it is really cool. It's fun to wear at sleepovers with your friends. I do remember that it didn't really do much for my skin and the leftover serum didn't absorb throughout the day. I'm gonna post a video somewhere like over here, but after a few hours, my skin got really oily and throughout the day, my normal skincare routine would not like absorb into my face, if that makes sense, just because like this mask serum really blocked my pores and did not let anything else sink in. I definitely would not recommend this for people who have oily skin types or anything like that as I do have a really oily skin type so this was not my favorite mask out of all seven of them. I think the worst aspect about this mask was that throughout the day my skin, if I just touched it, even though I didn't have any makeup on, things would peel off my skin and that never happens with my normal skincare. So I definitely think it was due to this, but if you guys do like this, then for sure go ahead and buy it at least one time, but it's definitely not something that I would repetitively buy for my skincare routine. So day two of this week's worth of masks was this mask right here. And compared to the other masks in this entire video, it is not a sheet mask. This is a, nanka, it's a yogurt mask, if that makes sense. Um, this is the Pure Smile Yogurt Strawberry and Mango Mask Pack, and it comes with 50 grams liquid grams. It just is 50 G here. So 50 grams of product in here. When I was applying this, I definitely put on more than I actually needed to. You could probably get a good two, three uses out of this. When I first bought this, I thought it was going to come out as like this weird hard to apply liquid, but it actually pleasantly came out as a whipped cream yogurt kind of feel so it was really easy to apply and had an amazing scent of strawberry and mango like I kid you guys not this had the best scent out of all of the masks that I tried on during this week what was nice is that unlike a lot of um, these kind of masks pack these kind of li more liquidy mask packs is that it didn't slide off the face so I didn't have to constantly like wipe the under part of my face or anything like that so it was really low maintenance I could just put this on and start working on my homework or stuff like that the overall result that I noticed after wearing this pack was that my pores were definitely tighter. That was a super noticeable difference that I noticed, which was really, really nice because I have huge pores on my nose, as you guys know. My skin had a more even tone and was super, super soft. Like, I just touched it and it was like baby's bottom. It was beautiful. And a really c common aspect of these kind of yogurt mask packs is it leaves you with a really moisturized feel, but it's not greasy, which is super, super nice. The only bad point that I would say about this mask and even then, it wasn't really that much of a bad point. It was just, it was a little bit hard to wash off and it was somewhat of a slimy finish when you wash it off until you fully got it off. But it still wasn't as bad as my favorite mask ever, which is the Innisfree Volcanic Pore Clay Mask. And that one's really hard to wash off, so this one definitely wasn't terrible. Really like this. Day three was this Funashi face mask. And for you guys who don't know Funashi, he's a super famous, really, really cute character here in Japan. And I saw this at Don Quixote and I just thought, 
I have to have it. It's so cute. So when you guys apply this mask, it obviously gives you the face of Funashi, and the scent is amazing. For you, those of you guys who don't know, Funashi, he's basically a character that is um, based after the Japanese Nashi, which is kind of, I don't know how to explain it completely, it's like a pear apple, and you can buy them in America for sure, I know because I used to eat them all the time in America too, but these, I'll like probably put a photo of a Nashi here, if you guys have ever seen them, yeah, that's basically what they are, and they're super sweet fruit, and it smells exactly like that, and it's such a nice smell, but the smell is definitely not overpowering, it's very gentle, and it smells really nice. After I tried this mask, my face definitely looked a lot brighter. It had a whitening sort of effect, however it didn't do anything at all for my pores anywhere on my face, let alone my nose. It really didn't do anything for my pores up on my forehead or anything like that. And overall it was a very decent mask, but I probably wouldn't buy it again just because of the character on it. It was a little bit more expensive than the rest of the sheet masks, so I feel like I would only really buy this if I was going to a sleepover and I wanted to I don't know, have fun with my friends or stuff like that, so. Day four, just because I bought it, here is another one of those novelty pure smile masks. Ew, here. This is another one of those novelty pure smile face masks, and this time it is the samurai version, I think. I can't read that much kanji yet, but you know what? He looks like a samurai or like a no dancer or something like that, so. Yeah, it's one of those ones, and again, it is one of the green tea smelling ones, but again, it still smelled like chemical mixed with matcha powder, which is just really weird to me, and it wasn't pleasant at all. I did not like the scent of this, and the entire time I was wearing it, I was just like, uh -huh. What I usually do for sheet masks like this is I leave it on as long as I possibly can, just because I like to get all the serum out of it as I can, and that's what I did for the first one, so for this time, just to test out, I only left it on for the required amount of time, which they said was 15 to 20 minutes. So I tried it again just to see if this is the kind of mask that you specifically have to wear for that amount of time, and I still really did not like it. Unlike the first time, it didn't peel off my face, and I could somewhat absorb my natural skincare, but I still use less skincare than I usually do just because I was wary. It still left my skin feeling very sticky and greasy, but less so than the first time, so I would definitely recommend if you guys are going to use this mask or the Pure Smile Novelty mask, then I would definitely say leave it on for the prescribed time to make sure that it doesn't leave you with totally clogged pores. But yeah, I would still definitely recommend this as a souvenir kind of thing, but not as an everyday skincare mask. So the next mask I'm going to talk about for day 5 is the same maker as the Funashi mask and the Geisha and the Samurai mask and that is this Snail Essence Pure Smile mask. This is their normal kind of mask setup so unlike the Samurai and the Geisha one it is not a novelty mask even though I don't know why their Samurai and Geisha ones kind of sucked compared to their Funashi masks. But yeah so this is one of their normal mask sets and what's nice is that it came in a five pack so you get five of these sets for the price of about three masks which is really nice this one was definitely a smaller mask than the rest of the masks that I tried on during this week so I would definitely recommend this for people who have smaller face types like I do let me correct that it came in a eight pack I just checked on my desk because I was unsure I noticed that as a good and a bad point that this mask had less serum in it so what's nice is that you can just put it on and do other things and not worry about it having to drip under your chin or anything like that. But the bad thing about this, for people like me who like to just leave it on for as long as possible, it dries out definitely a lot quicker than other face masks, so you might not get as much serum. But otherwise than that, it was just a normal face mask. It didn't have anything special about it. It definitely did more for me than the Geisha and the Samurai mask. However, it didn't do anything for my pores. My skin just looked moisturized as a mask should do and other than that it was just a very average mask i would definitely buy it for a daily kind of thing if you're the kind of person who is like me and you guys like wearing masks right before you put on your makeup just to overall even out your skin la layerment even out your skin like texture there we go even out your skin texture i would definitely use it for that the next two masks that I'm going to be talking about came in a set and this is by Naughty Kitty. I never heard of that brand before honestly but it comes in a two pack and it is the Doremon Hello Kitty collaboration set and the first one that I'm going to be talking about is the Doremon <laughs> I'm saying that so... okay the Doraemon face mask. What I really liked about these masks is unlike a lot of masks, um, if you guys are really not into fruity smells, this one just has a very clean smell. There's no actual 
very pungent scent. There's nothing like that. This one, unlike the one that I just did on day five, very, very, very full of serum. So when you pull it out, it's just dripping everywhere. It was kind of messy. You guys might definitely want to do this in the bathroom, but I had to do it out here because I wanted to film. Um, yeah, it drips a lot. So I use the excess serum to really massage my neck, which was nice, but Overall, you can't really do anything else when you're using this mask. It really drips down and usually when I use face masks, I either lay down or I work because when you lay down, it lets the serum sink into your face, but you can't even really do that with this mask because it just drips down the sides and gets in your hair, which was kind of inconvenient with this mask, but what was nice is that the serum that they do use really absorbs well into your skin. I actually really, really like this mask when I took off the mask, my pores were definitely less visible after using it and my skin was super, super moisturized. I would definitely recommend this mask in terms of novelty over the Gaijin Samurai Mask just because with this mask my skincare did fully absorb which was beautiful and these were super cute and I do believe that in the two pack they were cheaper than the one Geisha or Samurai Mask so I definitely do recommend this mask. And following in suit was the Hello Kitty version of this mask. Um, it was basically, honestly, the same as the Doraemon mask, in my opinion. Honestly, the only difference for me for this mask was that it was a Hello Kitty face. I still really liked this mask. The only difference, I would say, is because Hello Kitty has so many details on its face, if you have a smaller face like me, then the design will not be as cute on your face. I kind of honestly looked like a fish with her whiskers on the side of my face compared to near the front. So that was kind of a letdown, but... I still really do like these masks. The serum did wonders for my skin and I definitely recommend this mask. And the next ones are actually just bonuses because I thought I would try these out for you guys. They're not really face masks, they're like partially face masks if you know my drift. These are the Choosy Lip Essence Masks by Pure Smile and the, I can't even read this, Non Kuma um, Eye Mask. It says something like Ondong Koga. Kuma something. I can't read that much kanji guys. This is by a brand called BN and these are made in Japan. I've never seen them anywhere else. They're really surprising to me but I have huge under eye bags like regardless of how much sleep I get I always have huge really dark purple under eye bags. These were absolutely amazing guys like um, you can't really tell in the video that I took but after I put these on and left them on for about 15 minutes when I took them off my under eye bags were surprisingly a lot flatter than I was used to and the color was almost completely gone um, I usually have this weird problem where it's like not fleshy bumps that sounds really weird but like little flesh colored dots like tiny tiny like smaller than a pinpoint flesh colored dots that only I notice when I look really close but I really hate those and they always mess up my makeup and make it crease a lot easier these got rid of them let me show them to you they come in a pack like this and each pack comes with about three sets so they come in a thing like this Ooh. and you just put one under each eye and they stick there like this and you just leave them there for a good 15 minutes or so. You can leave them on for longer if you feel so, but I didn't feel the need for that. They completely got rid of my dark circles in 15 minutes, which was absolutely amazing. I use these whenever I have to pull an all-nighter for school or stuff like that. Absolutely amazing. Recommend these to anyone. And they were super, super cheap for a three-pack. I believe they were only hyakuen or ni hyakuen, which is like one or two dollars or even less than that because of the transfer rate right now. Recommend these. Highly recommend these. And for those of you guys who may notice, my lips are constantly, constantly chapped. Maybe you don't notice. Maybe it's just me. These Pure Smile lip masks from there, it's kind of weird. They say you can use them on, like, your nipples, too. That's interesting. Anyways, I don't know anybody who has chapped nipples, but if you do, then you can use this on there. These, honestly, are absolutely amazing. They just, you just put them on your lips. And after you take them off after about, again, 15 minutes, I think all these masks are, you leave them on for around 15 minutes. But after you take it off, it made my forever chapped lips super, super smooth, like a baby's bottom. It was beautiful. I've never had my lips feel that soft in ages. The only thing I would say about these is if it's in the winter, the effects will not last for as long because the serum basically soaks into your lips. And then after you go out for a while, it will eventually wear off. So it did eventually wear off and unfortunately this does not last for that long. You only get one mask per pack, which kind of sucks, but 
I still really really like these it's nice to use on a day that you really want to do a really bold lip but you know it's gonna show all the dry spots here so love this it lasts like the effects I would say definitely last for a good half of day so yeah if you guys have a problem with chap lips like me the effects might last longer on you I don't know but for me it lasted for about half a day love these things I use them every time I want to do like a nice lip so that was my week's worth of masks. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you guys like this series, I will continue to do a week's worth of masks in the following videos whenever I get the chance to. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!